Welcome. The unknown ancient African New Year. We celebrate its marking and its point this year at 62. 60 on the 23rd of uh, September, just a month from now. So when we celebrate this African New Year, what are we really connecting with? Are there any cosmogonic or cosmic or astronomical considerations that influences us or has influenced our ancestors? Is this important or not? It is clear that the oldest time documented by our ancestors dates to 78 trillion years ago. If you read chapter 17 of our book Free from God, it teaches and explains the revered ancestor's home, which is the earth. The 78 trillion years when matter and our earth were brought into being is explained clearly in Black Root Science by Elder Modi Moncho. It is very, very important to also say that before 1999 science and astronomers and astrophysicists were jump from one period to another when it came to the issue of the origins of matter and the earth we cannot trust science we can never trust them because of that ability they have to change their dates and the edge of the universe many times as their paradigms and tooling changes yet our ancestors have never changed even for a second when they tell us that the earth and matter began 78 trillion years ago. Since science refines its estimates of the age of the universe over time and dismisses divine revelation or sacred speculation, they also, on general consensus, follow what the mass numbers of the scientists say. Their claim to cosmogonical authority is weak. Their claim to knowing why we celebrate New Year is weak. The unknown ancient African New Year 6216 is the year to find your own grace because our ancestors taught us that you have got the power within you. So why do we celebrate New Year? What does 6260 tell us? The reasons why we celebrate New Year can be understood from four perspectives cultural and spiritual significance that's the first the second is proof of freedom the third is renewal and a fresh start and the fourth is symbolism and the reality of time we shall dwell on the symbolism and the reality of time for some time cultural and spiritual significance shows us that we are not chinese therefore we don't need to celebrate chinese new year we are not british or europeans we are not jews we don't need to celebrate these new years because when we celebrate these New Year's, we are destroying our own cultural and spiritual significance. Any melanin dominant human being or African or Muntu who celebrate the Gregorian calendar on 1 January, the Julian calendar on 14 January, the Chinese calendar on 22 January, the Hindu calendar on 22 March, the Muslim calendar on New Year on 19 July, the Jewish calendar on 15 September Rosh Hashanah, they are proving to everybody that they are mentally and spiritually colonized and they are still slaves we don't need to follow such people the african new year proves our freedom when we understand that 23 september begins a renewal of our own ubuntu bantu melan dominant nature we are celebrating our own freedom and a connection to divinity and connection to our ancestors as well as to reality we are not lost we are free we are not following other people's deities. The new year is time for renewal and fresh start. The new year is cyclical. It is cyclical because we connect with the gods. That's, that's, that's very important. The gods are the ones that gives us the spirit via the ancestors, the righteous ancestors, for a fresh start. It provides a new opportunity for individuals to reflect on the past year and they set goals and resolutions for the upcoming year and they make positive changes in their lives. They are goals that connect us to the cosmic power, the cosmic reality are found within the five epagomenal days. The day of Ausari, the day of Horas, Horesu, the elder and the younger, the day of Shata, the day of Isisu, and the day of Neptides. 
how is our renewal done how is our cosmic connection done it is done through the symbolism and reality of time by understanding that we are connected to the cosmos via the god Nyunyu. if you read our book free from god you will understand the religious as well as the scientific limits that are currently binding us and linking us and imprisoning us to the current wavelengths and frequencies so let's look at the symbolism and the reality of time as you may reject the 78 trillion years age for matter and for the shining of the waters of Nyunyu and the emergence of the primary divinities bear in mind that your scientific understanding is limited by its tools and the theoretical frameworks and have inherent limitations forever that's why it changes constantly non-stop but if you read chapter 17 and if you understand our ancestors have never changed their dates you know that we are on good correct ground so chapter 17 deals with the revered ancestors home from our book free from god unveiling spirituality that breeds wisdom we understand that in a city of Unu, Bantu, so-called Onu in the Bible, changed by Europeans to Heliopolis, there is the story of the original creation that shows the origins of matter, time and space. This was well before science had arrived on the scene via Europe. This, as we have already shown, was and is known by the modern priesthood, specifically the Dogon priest teachers, who state that matter came from the waves of unseen materials. They designate this as Yunu and the waves and the chevron in buildings they built in ancient times, including in Great Zimbabwe. Some Bantus call the waves Masai, Sai, and Mateti Zinto, or Zinu, or Nunu, or Nu. So it is very clear that today, quantum scientists and the physicists and astrophysicists have come and say, suddenly lay claim that they have discovered these massless waves. Remember, massless waves. You can read this website, they will tell you. Therefore, when it comes to time, to the calendar and the new year, science follows our narratives. Our ancestors are far ahead. They have steps, and we shall demonstrate these steps. That proves that. Because we need to go to the specific calculations for the new year that can vary widely when you follow science. But that is specific demarcation marks when you follow our ancestors and embrace our Ubuntu calendar that is based on the edge of the sun and also the cosmic body, so called astrology. The calendar was invented by ancient committeeans. They were the first to create mainly the solar calendar. This so-called helical rising always preceded by the flooding of the river Haapki, so-called Nile. And based on that knowledge, they devised the 365-day calendar. And it began around 4236 BCE. We are capturing our understanding of the symbology and the reality of time. So 6259 was the last year that we are celebrating as we enter into 6260. So 4236 added by 2024 gives us 6260. There is also another demarcation mark that comes from another school in ancient times in North East Africa. It's 4242. So if you also look at that, it, but we want to be projected by these dates that our ancestors gives us to the correct calendar of the unknown ancient African New Year based on the 78 trillion year origin of matter so the 78 trillion minus 4236 equals 77 trillion 999 billion 995 million 764 thousand so the most correct possible non ancient new year as of today this year when we celebrate 6260 is this indicator telling us how far we have come from meta and marking the reality of time as demonstrated in our book free from god so let's get the steps that will lead us either to 78 trillion 
go towards us today. 62, 60. We know that all this human activity that has ever been recorded consists of the clacktop spheres that are 3 billion years ago that were discovered in ancient Africa, in Southern Africa. We also know that they come from the Cambrian era. You can read the book uh, Forbidden Archaeology, the hidden history of the hidden history of human race by Michael Cremo and Richard L. Thompson. They will show you and prove you and prove to you about that. We also know of a nuclear plant that was discovered in Oklo in Gabon in Africa, which gives us 2.5 billion years ago. So from 3 billion to 2.5 billion, we are making progress here. So we also know the birth of the earth, how the earth was born from the waves and the waters of Nunu through the god Guvu or Ivu. Before the formation of Pangaea, there were several other supercontinents that existed over the course of Earth's history. The first known supercontinent was Vaabara, which was formed about 3.6 billion years ago, giving us the period of 3.3 billion when man was already on the Earth. So the Earth was first formed on its own. And where do we find the oldest machined metals? Southern Africa. And there is the oldest rocks ever to be found on Earth in two places. The Cap Valkraton found in Mazimbabwe, South Africa, Azania, Mzanzi, and also the Pilbara in Australia. These are the oldest rocks as demonstrated already here. It's very, very clear we are moving here. Then there is also Adam's calendar, a series of stones that are believed to have been laid out to mark the cosmos and cosmic stars. These are 75,000 years ago. Very, very clear. And the oldest calendar is way, way before 4236, found in Africa. Then there is also located, a place located in Africa here, Napta Playa, which is about 7,000 years old, older than Stonehenge. And it was crafted by our ancestor and it is possibly an observatory and astronomical center which also existed before 4236. So when we come to 4236, it is very clear that our ancestors had a basis for understanding that because it is this is how we get to 6260. 70 trillion years, 4.5 billion years meter of the sun which marks the cosmos, which marks our solar system. 3.5 billion years, the collective spheres. 2.5 billion years, the nuclear plant in Oslo. 75,000 years BCE, it is the Adam's calendar found in Hamid. And also 7,000 years BCE is the Nabla Playa built by our ancestors. Nobody can claim that because the Caucasian, this is the skull of the person that was found that was found at the place of blah 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 so let's be honest is it a is it b is it c this is from mr Imhotep. it is obviously africoid no other race was on the earth fifteen thousand years ago except melanin dominant human beings building these structures so the unknown african calendar is ancient it is marked today as we enter in 62 60 on the 23rd of september these are the steps that leads us to that that we have demonstrated on this question the unknown ancient african calendar that predates 78 trillion years ago can easily be projected by the demonstration we have done proving that in ancient hamid and many other places people had already the knowledge of the cosmos and the origins of matter and the time when matter existed so what was there before matter what was there before 78 trillion years ago it is what we are taught by the african calendar is demonstrated by dr shenganda diop the late who said it, it marked the ground for future generations for us as for geometry the competitions were the exclusive inventors of the calendar, the same one that barely has been reformed, which regulates our life, which one mathematician, Nagwavwa, said it is truly the only intelligent calendar, not the Babylonian by 
the Enki and Enlili, not by any alien, but this calendar that has existed in human history. So, the pre-78 trillion year calendar is the unknown ancient African New Year. Because that's when the year actually began. These are the steps and these are the symbols about it. It is the one that leads us via our soul to the creator who is not a spirit, who is not a being, who cannot be known by the human brain. You can read all about him, about her, about it, about this in our book Free From God, which you can get from Amazon. And uh, let us celebrate the unknown ancient African New Year 6260 by acknowledging that it's a happy New Year about melanin dominant humans and it is the year to embrace that which dwells beyond the Hazim Mukaha. Amen. 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 Ra. Subscribe to our channel Hamiti Iburu Ethics. You can send us an email on john at myfado.com Your hammer manager to people Priest Jaraba Elam Dumis Rukunikanim Jaganja say happy unknown new year for those that have understood this message is projected and taught in our book free from God. Ameni.